Hi all folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com where we get high on Android.com every day. So, um, the question of the day that I ask myself every day, which is the fastest smartphone in the world? Um, so, in my mind it comes, uh, well I have the three fastest smartphones in the world. Um, these are all faster than uh, iPhone 4S uh, and all that eye crap. Um, I've got the Galaxy Note here which comes with Samsung Zynos 1.4 GHz dual core processor and I've got the Galaxy Nexus which comes t with TI OMAP 4460 um, this is the fastest phone for for that um, there's Droid Razor which is pretty fast too but that one actually has 4430 so this is faster than Droid Razor and I've got the Galaxy S2 which comes with Samsung Zynos 1.2 GHz processor and to do this test right, I installed a custom ROM and also uh, overclock, overclocked them to um, their maximum. Um, so I've got set CPU on this one. I've got uh, what uh, running at performance. This one is running, but um, no, not Batista. This one is running King Droid ROM with uh, kernel. Which kernel was that? FM kernel on the Galaxy Notes, Galaxy Nexus. I'm running uh, one of the best ROMs out there for this. Um, this is the codename ROM. Um, I don't even need to use set CPU. You can see that uh, I got it clocked at uh, 1.35 gigahertz running at performance. Um, and also I've got the Galaxy S2 running Batista, one of the best ROMs for that. I've got it running at 1.4 gigahertz. My phone can't take more than that. Some of you might be able to go to 1.6. So I've got them all set it um, running pretty darn fast and let's run the latest quadrant which is supposed to be um, equal across ICS and gingerbread ICS and gingerbread so it shouldn't matter so let's run the tests here all running at custom ROMs running really fast and let's figure out um, who wins this contest and I like the new quadrant it's uh, I think it's actually more um, more relevant than the older versions and uh, here we go so this should tell you which phone has the fastest performance uh, with its hardware of course the Samsung Note should beat the Samsung S2 because it's the same processor but faster um, but you have to also note this one does have a bigger screen so we'll see who wins um, my favorite phone of all of them is probably the Galaxy Note and then the Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy Nexus my Galaxy Nexus um, it's been it drops calls or not drops calls the data goes it just goes blank um, for like for like 10 seconds or so when I'm using it um, out you know I'm using it all day and you know I don't know why it happens but it happens um, so we've got is this working no I think I overclocked it too far Okay, let me let me start the test over again for this one. I'll have to reset it. It's got uh, so I got four thousand forty one on the Galaxy S two, um, Galaxy Nexus two four four three. Let me give you a close shot here. So I was telling you I can prove it right here that the S2 is much faster device um, just the hardware is much better I think um, but let me underclock this again and we'll run this test again since uh, my Galaxy Note kind of froze up because I overclocked it to 1.7 gigahertz maybe I'll set it to like 1.5 or 1.6 and we'll do it again um, clearly though I've I'm impressed I've been impressed for ever since I've laid my hands on the Galaxy S2 and also the Galaxy Note is really fast um, so you know I mean this test is, test isn't gonna sh tell you like which phone you should get but just shows you that the hardware um, limits of these phones so I'm gonna run it at 1.6 gigahertz instead um, I think I was running it too high there and let's run it again and we'll have one full benchmark, one full benchmark, one full benchmark. There you go. So, which is the fastest uh, phone in the world? We'll find out.
in a second here. Graphics looks like uh, Galaxy Nexus and Galaxy Note are going a little bit faster this time on the CPU side. Watching carefully, actually the Galaxy Nexus processed the CPU fastest, while the Galaxy Note won hands down on the I/O side. So it went really fast, and then the Galaxy S2 seems like it's lagging a little bit. Um, Galaxy Nexus is the lag. I think the bottleneck with the Galaxy Nexus is the, um, maybe the file system. I know both of these run um, extensions for file system and that's probably why it's faster. I'm not sure about the Galaxy Nexus. Does it run an extension for? Maybe somebody can enlighten me. Um, so, there we go. The Galaxy Note clearly has a commanding lead. Oh wow, it's done already. And at 1.6 gigahertz, we got 4163 for this guy. Um, and then the Galaxy S2, 4235. Even though this finished um, later, it got a higher score. I don't know why that is, um, but you know, we should look at which one actually really finished first. So the Galaxy uh, Note is the fastest phone. I think so. And the Galaxy S2 isn't too far behind. Let's look at the numbers. 3D, 3D, 2055. Um, oh, you know what? Why am I doing this? Let me give you the. Let me give you a closer look. So those are the numbers. And uh, can I fit them all in here? Here, maybe if you do 1080p, you, you'll see all of them. There we go. So CPU 58146260 I think the higher number is better, is it? So the Galaxy Nexus wins there. Um, yeah, higher number is better. Memory 4609, 2122, 4503. So the Galaxy Note has a lead on the memory. IO 7670, um, 1192, and 8065. Galaxy S2 wins there. For 2D, 590, 211, 1000. Galaxy S2 uh, wins there. 3D, 2133, 2055, and 2125. So um, the Galaxy Note wins by a little. So I would say, really, the bottleneck. Hmm. Memory. Which was the fastest? Interesting, the Galaxy Nexus has a higher. Um, anyway, that's just results. Um, don't forget to leave comments about what you think is the fastest smartphone. Um, but I think, you know, just, I love the Galaxy series. They're so fast, you know. And it's not just a test. When you actually use it, it's pretty fast. Although the ice cream sandwich experience is pretty fast, too. So, well, they're all great phones, you know. Just, uh, um, you know, just give you a test. All right, see y'all later. Subscribe. Uh, folks, so let's actually do uh, N22 test also while we're at it. This should give us a better idea um, since we can do the two tests of which one wins this uh, contest battle out between the Galaxy Note, Galaxy Nexus, and the Galaxy S2. Um, I would say uh, let's talk about the, um, the wireless. Um, I think the wireless well, yeah, let's not talk about it. These are all unlocked phones, by the way. Um, my favorite is probably the Galaxy Note, of course, because it's a large screen. And what I like about the Galaxy uh, Note is that you can always, you know, if even if you upgrade it to a future phone later on, you can use it as a tablet device, you know, which is kind of cool. Whereas the smaller devices, it's not really a tablet, per se, so. I would say that's the advantage of the Galaxy Note because it, you know, even if it becomes outdated, you can still give it to your children as a tablet device. I mean, you can do it with these two, but this kind of is sort of between a uh, tablet and uh, what is it? Phone, so it's kind of cool. And also, these tests are running um, with this one having a larger screen. Um, so you should keep that in mind, which requires more power. So the Galaxy Note clearly has an early start, um, followed by the Galaxy S2, and then the Galaxy Nexus is lagging a little bit. 
but you can see the frames of per second is a lot higher on the S2 than the Galaxy Note. And I think that's the screen size. It's not really reflective of its, you know, hardware performance. So, I mean, you, you know, you do get the larger screen at a cost of, you know, um, losing frames per second, I say. But let me see, 54. And the Galaxy Nexus is um, really behind, even at 1.35 gigahertz overclock. But um, who knows, this, this is actually supposed to be overclockable to near 1.6. Um, it's just the Android source codes, no one has figured out how to get it there yet. Um, so I got 6991 at 1.6 gigahertz. Now we'll, we'll look at all the numbers, which is probably kind of important here. There we go. Um, so they're almost done. And, uh, oh, this one got zero for SD card because I don't have an S. No, I don't know. Let's look at it. And then we'll, we'll determine. SD card. Um, so with the SD card inserted, I think I don't have it inserted. It should give you a higher number. Um, but it still beats the Galaxy S2 at 1.4 gigahertz. And what it, it beats in RAM, CPU integer, um, floating point. Um, 2D graphics S2 is faster, database IO, this one is higher, and then nothing for SD card because I didn't insert it, eh. but um, still great numbers, and the Galaxy Nexus finishes up last, dead last. Um, so there you have it, I hope this helps you in making a decision on what, um, what phone you're going to buy, and uh, I clearly Galaxy Note, you can't beat that. And, the battery life, I would say, is the best on the Galaxy Note because it has a 2500 milliamp per hour battery, which is ridiculous. You can go two full days at least. On the custom ROM, you can even go like three, four days on light usage. Galaxy Nexus also has pretty good battery life and also Galaxy S2, but it's not going to come anywhere near the Galaxy Note. So if you need good battery life, um, get one of these, you know, and it's going to come out everywhere in the U.S. I know Canada, you guys get it now, so. See y'all later. Subscribe. That was it.